The dangerous street drug component is officially called xylazine, nicknamed Trank, as in tranquilizer. For people who use illicit drugs, it is an X factor, both unseen and possibly fatal. Recently, drug traffickers suspected of secretly adding xylazine to more expensive opioid products to cut costs and increase highs, but with terrible side effects, including death. Thomas Benson Kraussman's talent evident early. He was a delightful guy, uh, very inquisitive. What was not so obvious to his family was the teenager's experimentation with illegal drugs in high school, such as Oxycontin and Norco. He then moved to heroin. Pills got harder to get, and the heroin was very, very cheap. Despite family support and attempts at rehab, the 29-year-old lost his addiction battle a little more than a year ago. The Kraussmans thought he died from a heroin and fentanyl overdose. Months later, this toxicology report from Lake County revealing something they couldn't have imagined. Did you even know what it was at that point? Not xylazine. The, the coroner didn't know what it was. The powerful animal tranquilizer is not intended for humans. Many users unaware it might be in their street-bought drugs. The family saying they were told a terrible reality. The xylazine alone would have killed him and that the fentanyl would have dropped an elephant. Xylazine's toxic effects in humans aren't well understood. Users can be knocked out for hours. And then there is the mysterious flesh-eating effect, leaving some with horrific, hard-to-heal wounds that can lead to amputation. The black dots, that's necrotic flesh. That's actually, it, this actually looks phenomenal right now. Philadelphia, currently ground zero for xylazine in the U.S., is seeing the worst effects. In Cook County, researchers now reporting a significant spike. In 2021 into 2022, those numbers kept rising. So we were surprised by it, but we, you know, we've seen it in other parts of the country. Uh, so we knew it was probably a real, real trend that was happening here. The increase in the incidence of xylazine is concerning because it is not an opioid. So it does not uh, get affected by naloxone that is used to reverse fentanyl. This has really rocked our world. The IT meeting up with Live for Lolly's mobile van in suburban Maywood. The organization provides support to those with substance use disorder. The outreach now includes xylazine warning flyers and wound kits. When we encounter someone that has wounds, of course, we want them to go to the hospital. These aren't going to heal on their own. You're seeing these wounds on a more regular basis? We've just started seeing them the last two weeks. An I-team data analysis finding xylazine-related deaths in Cook County tripling from 2020 to 21 and climbing again last year by nearly 20 percent. Many suburban counties telling the I-team they're also seeing cases. There is the presence of xylazine. The local drug supply under the microscope being monitored by Chicago Recovery Alliance. Experts here now evaluating chemical strips that could detect the presence of xylazine. I'm absolutely worried about xylazine, especially since it has taken us a long time to recognize its uh, presence in the supply. The Kraussmans urging more resources, awareness, and kindness. He knew that I valued him. It, it, he didn't, it didn't solve his problems, but it gave him great comfort. So he wasn't that's alone in good. The world. And the stigmas got to go away. We have to stop treating them like they're bad. They're not. Xylazine is not listed as a government-controlled substance, so it ends up in a legal gray zone. And the DEA reporting it is very likely the prevalence of the animal tranquilizer is widely underestimated across the country. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.